Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, and today this video is about Microsoft's Windows 11 build 22621.1413, which is released to the main release. Starting with this build, this update addresses security issues for your Windows operating system. This update implements Phase 3 of Distributed Component Object Model (DCOM) hardening. After you install this update, you cannot turn off the changes using the registry key. Also, this update addresses an issue that affects a computer account in Active Directory. When you reuse an existing computer account to join an Active Directory domain, joining fails. This occurs on devices that have installed Windows updates dated October 11, 2022, or later. Moving forward, this update improves the search box experience on the taskbar. As you type in the search box, search results now appear in the search flyout box. You can also change the search experience you want for your taskbar by going to settings. This update also enhanced the system tray, formerly called the notification area. All icons had a rounded focus and hover treatment in the lower right, including the show hidden icons flyout menu. You could move icons to rearrange them in the show hidden icons flyout menu or move icons to the taskbar. Also you can choose to hide the icon menu, from the taskbar settings. Next to that, this update introduced a touch optimized taskbar for 2-in-1 devices that you could use as a tablet. This feature only worked on devices that could be used as tablets and was on by default. To change that, go to settings, personalization, taskbar, taskbar behaviors. The setting is called Optimized Taskbar for touch interactions when this device is used as a tablet. Also, you'll be having a drop-down menu for the touch keyboard. Next to that, this update also provides energy recommendations. If you use them, they could help to improve the energy efficiency of your PC and reduce your carbon footprint. You'll find it within Settings, System, Power, and Battery, Energy Recommendations. Next to that, this update made enhancements to Task Manager. You can now filter processes using the binary name, PID, or publisher name. The filter also applies when you switch between pages. The keyboard shortcut is Alt plus F. You can now choose a theme for Task Manager that is different from the Windows theme. Also, all dialogues, except for Run New Task in the Properties dialog, now support themes. The dialogues will use app-specific themes or the Windows theme. You can now opt out of confirmation dialogues when you turn on efficiency mode. Last but not the least, this update makes voice access more flexible and supports interaction with more user interface, UI, controls. Voice now supports spin controls, thumb controls, and split buttons. You interact with these controls by using the click command or number overlays. So, that was all from Microsoft for this build. If you want to know more, follow the link to the official Microsoft blog, from the description. Hope it was useful. Consider like for the video, subscribe to the channel, and if you have any questions, just comment down below. Thanks for watching, and have a great day ahead.